Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening to The Value of Truth. I'm Brian Price. Now, as you can see, I am dressed up in this wonderful outfit, or as some of you may call it, a silly costume. But the reason for this is because I went to church today. Yes, I was a heathen. Yes, I was a hypocrite for quite some time. I had not been to church in a few weeks. So today, it was almost as if it was a New Year's resolution for me to finally go. Uh, Our church had a 50th year anniversary special Sunday service today. And this evening was a packed house. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not been to church in weeks, months, years, get back into church, make it a New Year's resolution to go. It's a wonderful place. I I understand we all have uh, sin in our lives and perhaps that that may keep you from going to church. Perhaps you feel guilty, Um, but look at a church as a hospital to get better. Do not look at it as a place where people judge you and so on, um, because ultimately everybody in there has sin. There's not a just man upon the earth, the Bible says, that doeth good and sinneth not. So everybody is a sinner. We go there to receive mercy. We go there to receive the grace of God. And we go there to hear the word of God. So I'm going to preach to you uh, out of Mark chapter 7, just as a little uh, devotional, if you want to call it that. Um, But I think this is a wonderful chapter in the book of Mark, and it's Mark chapter 7, and it says in verse 20, it says, and it's, excuse me, and he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man, for from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within and defile the man. Jesus said all these evil things come from within. Out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. So if you want to know where evil thoughts come from, they come from the heart. Um, And some would make the argument that perhaps some evil thoughts proceed from outside sources or maybe influences, outside influences coming in. Uh, There's also triggers. There's certain things that may trigger a thought. Um, But ultimately, when we think about evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, all these things come from the heart. It comes from your utmost desire. So when you have desires of the heart and they're not pure, these are evil intent, evil intentions, evil thoughts. So this is sin, my friends. This is sin, ladies and gentlemen. And let me explain to you that if your heart is not right in the sight of God and you have these evil thoughts proceeding out of you um, and ultimately out of your mouth, then you need to do uh, a couple things. Number one, you need to get your heart right with God. Well, how do you do that? Uh, the, the Bible says in Psalm chapter 51, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Uh, Psalms chapter 139 says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. The way you get your heart pure is through prayer, and it's through the Word of God. The Bible says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. That's Romans chapter 10. And then in the book of Acts, we see that, uh, I believe it was the apostle Peter, Peter who said that, God put no difference between us and them, that is us and the Gentiles, uh, putting no difference between us, giving them the Holy Ghost unto them, even as he did unto us, purifying their hearts by faith. I don't know if I quoted that correctly, but the point being is that faith purifies your heart and you get faith by the word of God. So the word of God ultimately purifies your heart. So if you want a pure heart, read the scriptures. I would suggest going to the book of Psalms. Read the Psalms uh, prayerfully, mean it with all your heart, ask God to give you a pure heart, and he will do it. So that is really all I wanted to tell you is that God knows our hearts. He sees it. Jesus said, for from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. 
it, that's where your desires come from. It comes from your heart. So if you need a right heart and your heart is not right in the sight of God, go to the Bible, go to the Word of God, ask God to give you a right heart, and He will. So thanks for listening to the Value of Truth Ministries. God bless you. I hope you go to church this year. Take care.